Hey, Shalom. First and foremost, I want to give all praises, glory, and honor unto Yahweh, Ba'ashim, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashim, Rechak, Wadash, double honors unto the elder apostles of Great Millstone who rule well, and salutation and much love to you, Akim, out there pushing out this word in truth and sincerity. And I just want to do a quick exhortational video, Lord, as well as edifying unto the hopeful elect out there. You know, just about, as Peter said, uh, 2 Peter chapter 3. What manner of, of, of holy conversation are you to be in? You know, knowing the times that we're living in. Knowing that the elements are going to be melting with fervent heat. All right. Uh, World's War 3 is going to be the war to end world wars. According to Isaiah, I believe, chapter 9. It says this war is going to be fought with uh, flames and fuels of fire. You know, roughly paraphrasing. So knowing these things, what kind of mentality should you have in, in, in these? You know, what kind of manner of life? Because you go into that word... Uh, conversation in Second Peter chapter three, a uh, uh, holy conversation. Going to that word conversation I means what kind of matter of life should you be living? You know, what kind of how should you be conducting yourself? What should your priorities be on? All right. Yeah, we have our, our daily obligations and duties of this world. All right, but what the the first thing that comes is is the the, the word of the heavenly Father. All right, His will. All right, that's our pri that's our main priority. The hell with everything else, you know, that comes secondary. All right. Yeah, we got to put the Lord first, the body, the brotherhood, you know. So that we may please the Heavenly Father, man, through faith. Because uh, Hebrews 11 and 6, without faith, it is impossible to please the Most High. So, you know, how do we show our faith? Through works, man. So the, the manner of life you should be living is a life of a prophet. All right. A life, you know acceptable unto the heavenly father man not a it, you know because the scriptures say uh using the world but not abusing it you know so you don't you know you don't you don't just sit at home all day with no job you, you living in your mom's basement you know just mooching off of your parents until the missiles drop that's a that's living a beggar's life and you know what the scriptures say about that and Sirach it says i think Sirach 39 it says uh, uh, death is better than a, a, be a beggar's life, man. So, you know, we're supposed to be men, of course. But what? Our, our main priority, our main focus is, is to do this word. All right. To push out the gospel. To warn our people. All right. Because we, we have many duties. We're uh, uh, first and foremost to please the Heavenly Father. And by pleasing him, we, you know, we do his will. All right. We're, 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 we're watchmen to warn the people, our people. All right, we're seers, watchmen, prophets. We tell these other nations their judgment. All right, over, oversee the body. Uh, no, the scriptures say, no, that's state of thy flock. You know, so there's a lot of things that we get. We need to be concerned with in, just in this word. So we ain't got time for all the, the, the nonsense of this world, you know, chasing after worldly lust. You know, going after the things of the flesh. As Romans chapter 8 says, it says, to be carnally minded is death. All right, so you don't want to be, you know, all caught up in this world, man. Because it's not going to profit you, you know. Being all caught up in the world, you know, doing all this nonsense, you know, hanging around uh, people that have nothing in common with you, you know, straight niggas in the world, you know. <clears throat> yeah, Salakia. You know, you don't want to um, be, in, you know, indulged. With the things of this world, man. You know, there's there's a balance to things. You know, you gotta have a balance. But, you know, you don't want to just go overboard with it. All right. When we talk about balances, you know, you in the scriptures, you're doing your videos, you're studying. All right, fellowshipping, and then you know, when you got some, when you when you've done all you, when you've done what you supposed to do. All right, which is never enough, really, but. You know, when you when you don't want to kick your feet up, you know, and, uh, you know, maybe you had a hobby in the world. Maybe you like to play basketball, work on cars or, you know, you know, you got a, 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 a Xbox or something, you know, play that for an hour or so, whatever, you know. But what it, or watch a movie, you know, it, that's that's you know, that's a good that's a that's a good uh, pastime if, if you've done the work because you could watch a spiritual movie and, uh, and it'll give you a tight uh 
an idea for your next video you know watch some some of these movies that esau be showing a lot in these movies but um you know our our, our main focus you know is this truth and the, and the men that are in it most importantly pleasing your how while your house shy all right making our lives a living sacrifice you know look i mean look at the look at the manner of life these people are living uh the two-thirds people that don't give two shits about anything that the heavenly father said look at how they're living brute beasts man because what the lord gave them over to their their worldly lust man they're you know romans one you read that and it tells you how the lord gave how, how the lord gave these heathens up all right to their their carnal of, of, of affections man the worldly lust the things that are going to get you destroyed man you know Hey, just like just like money, you know, the scripture tell you that money is a defense. All right. But what the scripture also say that that uh, riches shall not profit in the day of wrath. OK, so that's not that's not something you need to be worried about, man. The, the most high is going to provide you with what you need. All right. You don't need to be worrying about how you're going to pay this, how you going to pay that. Hey, the Lord's going to provide, man. Does not the Lord provide the birds with food, with a nest? All right. The foxes with their holes. And so on, man. So you ain't got to be all worried about and concerned about money, man. And what does it say? Uh, the love of money is the root of all evil. You start getting caught up in all that, trying to get paper and chasing the bag, man, you're going to end up bugging out. All right, because the Lord's going to give you over to that. Because you can't serve two masters. You're going to serve mammon or you're going to serve your Yahweh me out shy. So, you know. The manner of life we need to be, <laughs> knowing that the, these, this judge, great judgment is coming, is, is the manner of, of, a, of, a, of a man chasing after the heart of Yahweh by Shemiah Shai, man. A man after his heart, doing the things that have been commanded. All right? Seeking salvation. That's the manner of life. Uh, uh, the, uh, the, the type of life that is seeking after salvation, not destruction. Because hey, the scriptures say um, the path, you know, roughly paraphrasing, the path to destruction is is wide and broad but unto uh, salvation you know it's it's straight and narrow and straight meaning not like a straight line straight meaning uh like like um a, a path of of adversity affliction you know troublesome path and that's right that's that's what you're going to go through in this truth yeah you're going to go through adversity afflictions or your family is going to come up against you you're going to be hated for what you how about shimmy out shy's namesake all right that's that's what you know it comes with this truth man it's it's a part of it but what you got to be in that that mentality of of, of accepting it and going through it because the lord is going to constantly test us man oh uh scripture and sirach says acceptable men are tried in the, in the furnace of adversity all right so the lord's gonna uh put you to things and you're gonna be like damn you know, why I'm, your flesh is going to try to take over and be like, damn, why am I going through this, man? I'm doing what the Lord telling me to do. But then, you know, the spirit kicked back in and he'd be like, oh, okay, you know what? It's a good sign, you know. Bless, these, uh, bless is he that whom the Lord chastises, chastises you know. You know, because a, a, a son that the father don't chastise is a bastard, man. The Lord ain't dealing with you if you just, everything's just hunky-dory in this world, man. We're supposed to be suffering in this place, man. This is not our rest. You know, so if you're doing, you're doing great. You know, you're living life. But then, but you're supposed to be a prophet. And, and part of being a prophet is to suffer. Uh, being the off score of this world, earth. Yeah, I mean, the Lord will send you some, some bones here and there. You know, because it's, it's like a, it's a balance. You know, just like we've got to be in a balance. The Lord is a balance. Perfect. So he's going he gonna to give you good and evil. Like Job says, shall we not get good and not evil from the hands of the Lord? You know, roughly paraphrasing. You're going to get both. All right. You're going to catch hell and then you're going to be doing good sometimes. You might come, you know, the Lord might throw you a, a, a come up real quick. You know, you might, uh, you know, the spirit hop on you to buy a scratch off and you get a, a hundred bucks, 500 bucks, whatever. 40, find 40 bucks on the ground. And that's a that's a that's a win, <laughs> not a win, but you know that's the Lord doing that. Just so you know, you can uh, 
use that money for the brethren or or maybe you're in a in a in a, in a situation where you, you don't know how you're gonna pay a certain bill but then boom this happens and, and then this call like how about you shy man so it's a balance to this thing man and you got to be in that state of mind all right that that manner walking in that manner of life of serving the lord and he's gonna provide for you man and and you know what it doesn't matter what people think about how you're living because the scripture tell you they think it's strange that you not run that you don't run to the same excess of rioting they do not look at you sideways they're gonna call you a weirdo especially the people that knew you before you came into truth but the hell with them their opinion is irrelevant right it's script uh second address what is that uh is it? See, the second Ezra, I forget what chapter it is. It says, all the unfaithful shall die in their unfaithfulness, man. All right, Romans 3 and 3. So what if some did not believe? Shall I change the, uh, the, the, you know, the effect of the most high? Nah, it doesn't change anything. If people don't believe and people scoff, that's that's their problem. You know, that, that don't persuade us any which way. All right? We persuade men through the fear of the Lord. If you don't want to get with it, then get, then get it, you know, get, get, get walking, you know, leave us alone, like, uh, like in Acts chapter 5, leave these men alone, if it be of men, it shall come to not, so if we just some crazy guys on the corner reading Bibles, just leave us the hell alone, and we'll see who's right at the end of the day, that's the manner of life we walking in, not going out, you know, ain't nothing going, you know, go out with the brothers, whatever, grab a drink, or, you know, go to a restaurant, or whatever, but, um, you know, we're not going out every week. Uh, Thursday night is college night. You you out there fist pumping and trying to holler at some some complete horse. Then Friday come around, you back out again. All right, get his get getting your dollar beers at at the at the local pub. Friday you go out to the club, and, and then you know and then you're broke the rest of the week. Busting your ass for nothing, man. Just to blow money on 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 poison. All right, that cheap, cheap liquor and cheap beer, and then may, within the hopes of getting a, a, a scallywag to go home with you, that's probably been ran through eight times that, that in that very week with it with, with eight different niggas, man. That's the manner of life these people live, man. There's a manner of, of a, a waste of life, man, a waste of space, consuming all consuming all the air for nothing, man. Just useless eaters. And that's why the Lord is going to destroy two-thirds of our people, man. Because, hey, fuck eat, fuck eat them, all right? They can, hey, the scriptures say in uh, Lamentation 4 and 21, rejoice, old daughter of, uh, of, of uh, Edom, or Babylon, you know? The Edomites need to be rejoicing. They should go, every ch every chance they get, they should be out there waste blowing their money, racking up that debt. Same thing goes for the heathen. They, they just need to go all out before the nukes drop. Because they ain't going to live it up in the kingdom for that first thousand years. And then Esau going to be destroyed. And then the, at least the he, the rest of the heathen will be at rest. All right. And they're going to rejoice eventually. Because like the scriptures say, when the when the uh, righteous are in authority, the people rejoice. So, you know, let that, let that leave that lifestyle for, for the, the nincompoops that are going to die. You know, we got to be godly men. You know. And that's in in, in in dealing with brothers, all right. Dealing and dealing with other people, man. The scriptures say, if at all possible, be at peace with all men. You're not going around trying to fist fight people, or you you really, you calling women bitches because they don't want to, you know. You, you trying to holler at them, they ain't giving you no time. So you over here calling her a bitch, you know, trying to stir her up, uh, uh, you know, a fight. And the next thing you know, you're in a battle royale in the bar. And the brothers were with you, so you get them caught up in it. That's not the lifestyle you should be living. That's definitely not the spirit to be in. You know, but, you know, Lord's will is edifying and exhorting, man. Brothers, just keep doing what the Lord's commanded us to do. Just, you know, move, move, with, uh, be circumspect when you move. All right. And just, just try to remain in the spirit, man. We, we're still in the flesh, but, you know, try to do your best. And just keep living this the the whole the holy conversation, the real holy conversation, the real manner of life that we where we ought to live. All right, and it's been we've it's been given unto us 
through who? Yahweh Shai. He showed us the way to live, man. That's why it said that he left us in the examples so that we may follow after his footsteps, man. His steps, man. All right? So if you're wondering how you should be right now, well, go read the Gospels, man. See see how Yahweh Shai was moving, man. He wasn't moving. You know, he got, he was... He got he got irate sometimes, you know, when in the temple. But for the most part, he was a peaceable man. All right, he wasn't uh, going around picking fights and you know just 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 being an all-out demon or doing whatever he wanted to do. No, he was doing what the Lord, uh, the Heavenly Father, told him to do. All right. So that's the greatest example we have. And then you know, on down through him, the apostles, Paul, you know. So that, that's the question, all right? What manner of converse, holy conversation should you be in right now, all right? What kind of manner of life should you be living? All right, and with that, I'm going to give all praise and glory unto Yahweh, Ba'ashim, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashim, Rokhach, Wadash, the bonus to the elder apostles, great millstone, and salutations and much love to Yaakim. Shalom.